This is my good friend Dex. Dex is a Venusian artist, instructor in training. That's right. right. So what I wanted to talk to you about was the mindset that I have with regards to what we consider infield, the nightclub. Mm -hmm. There you have 300 people, all the chatter you can hear, the music bouncing, everything. The lights going crazy, the uh, disco ball giving off all those additional glares. The lasers. The lasers. Sometimes even a little <laughs> bit of smoke off the stage. It looks confusing. For some people, it's even a little scary. But I've noticed that there's a pattern, a reoccurring pattern that takes place. This is, again, the elusive obvious. When you go in, you see 300 people. Now, what I want you to do is recognize that people are in these groups. There are some singles. They're rare, but they exist. There are two sets, say something like just maybe 10%, give or take, mm -hmm. are going to be two sets. Mm -hmm. And the majority will be three sets, with another minority being four sets, five sets, right. and all the way up to 12 sets. If you're at a table, there's a table with 12 people sitting down, and they can all hear each other. Now, if there's loud music, I like to think of it as an invisible curtain that cuts it into two pieces. Mm -hmm. So if my target is in this side, yeah. I once thought, wow, you go into this side to disarm all them and then move over. But the problem is you mm -hmm. may get locked into this side. I now know that I have to go into this side of the table. The opposite side of the, where the target is. I want to go where the target is. Mm -hmm, okay. And that way, there I am, a part of a six set with the invisible curtain of loud mm -hmm. music keeping this area of their table. Mm -hmm. They all know each other, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a different set. They can't hear me anyway. Right. This set I can engage. I right. can engage this you know, small yeah. group. Only if one of these people gets up and comes over will I be very well prepared for the external interrupt. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's something that I taught Dave, and he's going to catch you up to speed up. Fair. So there you have it. You've got singles, two sets, three sets, and more. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is create a little fantasy in my mind. To me, a nightclub isn't necessarily the best place to get your next girlfriend. It's really a training ground. Fridays and Saturdays, you may not know this, while they are crowded, the, the nightclubs and stuff, you don't really want to go out on a Friday and Saturday to pick up a girl simply because these girls have been hit on so often that just your being the next person to approach, she'll presume you have as low a value as all the other guys. Yeah, that's where the right? big shield comes in. And that's where the protection shield comes in. <gasps> I'm looking at it from the woman's point of view. Can you imagine being hit on 7,500 times by the time you're 23 years old? By that time, you're going to develop some really good snappy comebacks. Yeah, some protection mechanisms. All right. I picture that every group has a white, glowing, floating hoop around it. Mm -hmm. Just like a video game, a three-dimensional video game. Ah, there's a three set with a hoop around it. There's a two set, a hoop. Oh, there's a single, a moving single with a hoop. Perhaps there's a four set I see over there. I draw a hoop, but there's this guy. He's really nearby. He's just turned. Looks like he's grabbing a drink. He may be with them. Well, I don't have conclusive evidence that they're together. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm going to work with the information that I have. That's the best the pickup artist can do. You could wait to see if it's going to merge. Right. Or you can go in now. Right? Mm, I don't know what he's up to. So I'll just put a circle around him for now. He may become an external interrupt I'll be prepared for. Right. Right. And that's how you break down the entire room. Some guys will go into a room and get lost in it, will sort of mingle and walk around. And by the time they've walked back to the front door, you know, perhaps they even stop to look at all the people at the dance floor. Right. So with those hoops, you're yeah. reducing the complexity of the Exactly. Group and, to a few and really, sets. you're only going to approach on a training night perhaps a dozen sets. It's like one every 20 right. minutes, right? And when you're training, sometimes you get blown out in 30 seconds, unfortunately. Right. Right? 
So after looking at the dance floor for a while and lowering your value for all those people, because there you are all by yourself, right. you <coughs> find yourself back at the front door having done an, a complete circuit. Mm -hmm. Maybe even during this complete circuit, you stopped by the bar by yourself, grabbed yourself a beer, and then held it up high like every other lovable loser. Hope nobody notices. Hope nobody notices, right? <laughs> you're if you're going to grab the beer, hold it down low. Or better yet, keep your hands clean and dry because you're going to go Keno. Mm -hmm. And you don't want clammy hands, right? Don't go to the bar. Don't circumnavigate the entire place. Don't wait around at the dance floor, lowering your value there, and get back to the front, not even recognizing that you have just pretty much burned out the room. Don't look like you're on the prowl. Exactly. You can walk in, look like you're going somewhere, walk right. in, you know, towards the back, towards the, uh, the bar, from that one position, Mm -hmm. You can scan the entire room. Wave you at your imaginary friends. Yeah, hey. In the back of the room. Up. Nobody will Amen. check. Nobody will care. Exactly. Whether they exist or not. That's from Will H. Will Hicks, actually, from uh, New York City. Great pickup artist. There you go. So you're using that? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Dart right through the room. Dart. Look above. Every